morning. It is a great day in Wales today because it is St. David's Day. Deeth Gwil Dewi. Deeth Gwil Dewi. Or what you might see on people's timelines is Deeth Gwil. Uh, Deeth. Deeth Gwil Dewi Hapis. Deeth Gwil Dewi Sant Hapis. There we go. <laughs> Ashamedly, I know very little Welsh. It was an option in school and it has pained me to this day because I travel all across the world and everyone can speak their language and English and probably another one and it's a real bugbear of mine that it was just an option to learn it in school. I wish it would have been driven into me. Anyway, so I'm off into town in a bit to go and film the St. David's Day Parade. It's a lovely parade that happens with all the different communities of Wrexham, brings them all together, all the schools, all the people that are just wandering through town, it's great. There's a bit of a sing-song, Welsh anthems thrown in there, and uh, maybe even Delilah or something, but it's all a good day. So yeah, I'm off to do that with Wrexham.com. And yesterday we actually had a tour of the new prison, HMP Bowen, and we got the chance, along with other news networks and uh, broadcasters, to go in and have a first look at the prison before the first men arrived in the prison that afternoon, I think. So today is a big day for a lot of news agencies around North Wales because today we're getting a look around HMP Berwyn, the UK's biggest prison. I've had to tell them what kit I'm taking in. So I've got my list here, tripod, LED lights, 27S2, RX100. Security is really gonna be tight on this one. I've heard that phones can go for like 5,000 pounds inside a prison, so you get any sort of communication devices taken off you at the gate and then given back to you when you leave. So I've gotta be careful not to take any extra bits with me because if it wasn't down on the list, then it will get confiscated off me. And it will just really slow things down. I think we need as much time as we can in there. Got our radio mics, and I've got the, the shoe adapter. Then it goes into there, and then you don't need wires for your radio mic. That's what makes this such a handy little tool for doing little news pieces. Camera, lens and lens adapter. It's a pretty tight kit. Need this. I shot this all in 4K so that when, when it comes to finally deliver this film, we've got a piece that really looks smart. And I wanted to shoot in 4K because I knew that all the other news networks, I, th I thought they'd be shooting with their broadcast cameras or DSLR photographers who were just capturing a bit of video for their websites. And I thought, here's a chance to do something a little bit different, add a bit more quality to it, and we can take our time with delivering this piece. Um, but anyway, I got a little teaser up yesterday. We put that on Rexham.com website and boom! There you go, 20,000 hits. 500 comments or whatever, and it's hugely negative about what the prison looks like more than anything. Rather than what they're trying to do in the prison, they're focusing on what it looks like. And it's not really what the focus is about there. Um, it's all about rehabilitation, and this is the last stage that these men will go to before they get released out into the public. And if they're treated with respect and they have a life that resembles something that they're going to come out into, I think they'll integrate with society a lot better than, uh, you know, being treated like, I, I don't even want to say a dog, because dogs get treated better than what I've heard. Some people want to treat these people like. So I've just been locked inside a prison cell in HMP Bowen. Um, and as you can see, it's not really a place that you'd want to spend much time, just like any prison. Uh, but there's a lot of people saying at the minute that it's going to be a jolly for people, it's a really nice place. Yes, it is kitted out, but the idea here is to treat people like humans so they come out as full functioning members of society. 
What were people thinking that we were going to have on Wrexham Industrial Estate? Guantanamo Bay? I don't think so. Right, anyway, let's go. I think I just had my first rant. In the bag we've got the C100, the Osmo. We've got a shotgun mic with a dead cat on to stop the wind, because I reckon it's going to be windy, and some XLRs. Don't need any of this stuff. No, 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 no. Most important bit of all, the Welsh flag. And we're off. Coming new this season, the Welsh turtleback. Said no one ever. <laughs> Said no one ever. So we're on our way to film for the St. David's Day Parade. One thing I'm noticing with the RX100 Mark V is that if you're outside, you might as well give up on the piece of camera because any sort of wind really picks up on the microphones. So I will look into addressing that. Hi right, chaps. Welcome to my vlog. <laughs> so I met these guys in Yale College last week when I gave a, a chat, a bit of a QA. and a uh, It was really good to see them out, actually. But they were stealing my shots. So I'm now running ahead to try and catch them when they all come through to the Queen Square. So I covered St. David's Day for Wrexham.com and I love this shoot. There's so many kids out there just really enjoying it, really having a lot of fun. And I hope that maybe the schools encourage learning about the history of Wales and really teach kids the importance of learning the Welsh language so they don't end up like me talking on a vlog saying how they wish they'd have stuck with it. What better way to finish off St. David's Day than eating really authentic Welsh food? Um, spicy rice. And we are done. Check out my blue tick, yo. How'd you get a blue tick? Called it in, so. <laughs> How do I get a blue tick, then? You got blue tick in my eyes. That's not the case. It's been a busy day for the Repsom.com squad, but we are wrapped with another video out. Two in two days. Went in, in the light, came out in the dark. I'm really blue. It isn't actually that blue out here. I hate coming out of these offices because I can just smell pizza right there. And everybody knows pizza's my favorite. <laughs>